So I got to read Bloodshot and the Hardcore number 21. I'm a huge fan of the Valiant Universe, but this is one of their mainstays and I never read it until the crossover with Archer and Armstrong. And that's the whole point of crossovers, to make you read books you'd never read before. And I gotta say this one actually worked because I love the characters. We start off right where we left off with Bloodshot and Armstrong making a deal but fighting it out because they don't know if they want to make a deal but you really can't destroy either of them because one's immortal and one's got the nanite so eventually they come to terms they sit down and talk and they come to a deal and it's really cool really cool because they're basically on the good guy side which is interesting because in the past they've both been evil so to speak um archer still wants to take down mr causal that's all he wants to do he really doesn't care about uh project rising spirit he doesn't really care about that he just wants to take down mr causal for everything that's happened to him he blames him basically totally so he's still going after him armstrong busts in gets the deal going and you can tell that this is going to lead to some Bad stuff for Bloodshot and the Hardcore. Bloodshot is still worried about the Generation Zero kids. He's still taking them to account. And his actions here are going to lead right into the next storyline, which is Bloodshot versus Hardcore, which now I'm going to pick up. And I'll keep on Archer and Armstrong. Basically, the deal will separate the two again. And Archer and Armstrong will be there on their side. Bloodshot will be their own side. So I'm curious to see where it's going to go. It writes out Project Rising Spirit from the whole... Um, Dominion sect side of things, so they'll be split. I'm very curious where they're going to go, but this book, really loved it. Love the way they tied everything together. Five out of five Nerd Skulls, highly recommend it.